Hello everyone, welcome to Project Veritas headquarters, the infamous wall of shame, where journalists' reputations go to die, where we frame retractions and corrections in articles questioning our own ethics. That's why it's so troubling. That's why we're living in George Orwell's 1984. Our media is so broken, it's so disgraceful, it's so disgusting, and until we fix the media, well, we won't fix anything in our political uh, situation. So this retraction goes to one William Legate. Am I pronouncing that name right? William, William Legate on Twitter. Uh, this guy likes to go around trying to get people banned from Twitter. William Legate on Twitter. Cue the retraction theme song. So this is the 327th retraction. 327, William Agate, his bio says, quote, self-made American entrepreneur, Teal Fellow, featured in WAPO, New York Times, Fox News, CEO, Predict Network, Deep State Operative, and there's his Instagram account. So let's see what William Legate writes originally, quote, Project Veritas finds a USPS worker, pays $130,000 to alleged voter fraud. That's what he said. We pay this guy $130,000. We did not pay him anything, so I said you need to retract this, that we paid $130,000, and uh, in fact, he started the GoFundMe page because he has a daughter and he was being uh, put on unpaid leave by the Postal Service. If you don't retract, Project Veritas is going to sue you. So, William Legate deletes his original tweet and writes, quote, clarification, Project Veritas claims that $130,000 was raised for him via GoFundMe. We didn't claim it. In fact, he did raise that much money on GoFundMe and the GoFundMe page was taken down. So these guys get to just make stuff up. They just get to lie. Even, and he's verified on Twitter. So William Legate goes around trying to get people banned from Twitter. So I, we actually filed a complaint with Twitter against William Legate for spreading this type of propaganda and disinformation. So now William Legate has corrected his post. He's made one more retraction and correction uh, regarding this story than we have. We haven't had to correct anything because we stand by our reporting. And we're going to frame this retraction. We've already framed the retraction, 327, and we're going to put it on the infamous wall of shame. It's amazing how many retractions we get at Project Veritas. We don't stop getting retractions. Do you have a plushie? Where'd the plushie go? William, all this could be avoided if you just stuck to the facts, if you just did your job. Stop projecting onto me that which you are. You know, who said that? Was it, was it, was it Goebbels? Lenin. Was it Lenin? Stop projecting on, you know, projection is a psychological issue. It really is. You guys have psychological problems. You accuse your, uh, I guess you think I'm your enemy. You accuse me of doing what you do. And it's, and it's twisted. It really is. Why don't you just focus on doing, you know, journalism, reporting. You know, go to the location of the scene of the thing and report on it instead of attacking us. Now, you're going to live in infamy on the wall of shame forever. 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 All of this could be avoided if you just stuck to the facts. Stay tuned because the retractions just keep coming.